Imagine a twisted system, one that's rotten to the core, hell-bent on obliterating what it sees as a menace. As we got the news right here, right about... Five. I'm not that surprised. This thing always felt preordained. Uh, it, it feels more arranged than a marriage in Kabul. I, I'm not, I guess that's why I'm not that broken up about it. Uh, the man thrives on adversity, and so do the American people. And this kind of only adds to the persuasive, persuasive power by proving his point. That if you are a threat to power, they will try to just dis destroy you. And I do believe that, you know, Americans love the story of a lone man battling a corrupt system with his back against the wall, uh, as opposed to some invalid who is now the villain when you're in this story. And, and these are all stories. There is a villain and there is a hero. And we now know who the villain is and who's behind this. What we, we just saw something with our very own eyes, but we don't know what was going on behind the scenes. And I believe that there was a, a conscious collusion of allies that came together. It's pretty obvious with a private strategy to eliminate a common shared adversary. This happened before with uh, uh, in the election. Uh, I think it was Time Magazine that wrote about the Kabul, the, the, the cabal. cabal. Thank you. I said Kabul earlier. Government. The legal system, the media. So what we saw was the outcome. What we didn't see was everything leading up to it, what was done secretly. Uh, and then we get this trial, which is paraded publicly. Uh, but we didn't see how this happened. I believe that they just gave Popeye a gallon of spinach laced with steroids and meth. And I think you're going to see this not... Uh, the numbers aren't going to go in Biden's favor. I think this will not only solidify the base, it will radicalize it. It will infuriate the independents and the undecideds. And those who see Biden as a desiccated, you know, barely alive person will not will will be, mm -hmm. I think, energized by this. Skepticism of massive, powerful institutions and the belief in individual struggles against overwhelming government authority hinted a deep seated distrust in the media, legal system and government. The idea of one person battling a corrupt system aligns with conservative ideals of strict individualism and personal responsibility. This perspective highlights the conservative respect for self-reliance and resilience. Portraying Donald Trump as a hero facing adversity, it reinforces a conservative narrative that stands resolutely against injustice and elite power. Trump's fight against corruption symbolizes a quest for authenticity and meaning amidst repressive forces. The notion that the trial intensifies his resolve by testing his limits underscores his struggle, suggesting that adversity imbues life with greater meaning and purpose. Supporters view Trump's battle against a corrupt system as a testament to individual accountability in a hostile world. They perceive him as a hero fighting against corruption a perception driven by the psychological response to threats, where people rally around figures embodying their values and fears. Such narratives of an individual versus a corrupt system foster strong group dynamics, enhancing cohesion and identity among supporters.